curious as to uh, what you're kind of seeing out there and, and how you would evaluate kind of where you are uh, personally this season. Um, yeah, well, starting with this game, I, I was really aggressive, which is what I liked. Um, I think at times I can be a little back and forth with my aggression. I think um, for me, it's just being consistent with it. And um, no matter what the outcome of my aggression is, as long as I am aggressive, then mm -hmm. usually good things will happen. And so I think it's been a steady progressive growth throughout the season. Um, it has been up and down. There's been games I've been aggressive and then other games I haven't. So for me, trying to find that consistent line and continuing to try to contribute to this team. What do you think the key is to you kind of maintaining that consistency and especially like closing out the season with yeah. that? I think it's just a mindset, to be honest. It's just uh, mentally being in the right headspace and, you know, coping with certain emotions that you have before games and, you know, things of that nature. So it's all within my control, which is, you know, the positive thing. So that's why, you know, I'm looking forward to building on a game like this. Hey, Max. Um, I, I know scoring isn't necessarily your role on this team, but uh, when you kind of get off to a good start like you did tonight, do you start thinking about like your career high or anything like that, or are you just out there playing? I thought about it for sure. Um, I think I had nine points in the first half, 11 in the first three quarters. So I was thinking about it for sure, but I didn't want to force it. You know, I just wanted to let the game come to me, and tonight wasn't that night, but it was a good start for sure. And um, you know, I'll have plenty more games where I can get that career high. Max, you mentioned the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs. As a young player, when you have those bad moments and those struggle moments, how do you bounce back from that and remember, you know, what got you here and what you can do even when the results aren't there? Yeah, uh, I mean, I've done a lot of work mentally, you know, on, the, on my head and my mental side of the game. It is tough for sure being a young player. You want to, you know, succeed as much as you can. And I think, you know, you got to get as much experience as you can as well. So uh, for me, it's sort of just detaching from the situation and, you know, Sometimes I make up stories in my head when I don't play well and things of that nature. So detach from that, seeing what the reality is, and then you know, just putting one foot in front of the other um, and realizing the, the spot that I'm in is you know, a lucky spot for me playing for the Lakers. You know, that's something that not a lot of people can say. So being grateful and then detaching from situations where you know, everything feels like it's going wrong. Uh, do you draw any inspiration from kind of what you've seen from D'Angelo Russell and what he's been able to do in this kind of second half of the, mm -hmm. the season and also just, you know, um, very near to uh, breaking the single season yeah. three-point record? Yeah, I think uh, the thing I I look for and watch most with D'Lo is not even just – it's not really on the court. And we all know he can he can really play basketball, but – it's the way he, he approaches the game. And then I think mentally, too, just the way, you know, it seems like when he's out there, he really is just really carefree, doesn't really care about outcomes, um, and really isn't worried about what other people think of him. So I think that's something that I can draw, and I do draw inspiration from, for sure, even off the court watching, you know, just watching the way he carries himself and he speaks his mind. And, you know, I think a lot of people just in life in general are sort of afraid to say what they want to say because of what people will say about him. So that's something that he certainly isn't a part of. And so that's something I draw inspiration from. Thank you, Max. Thank you, guys.